Welcome in to Hopkinton Hillers Baseball on HCAM. Today they will take on Dover Sherborne at Hopkinton High School. Dover Sherborne is two and four on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers two and three, just getting off of a Monday walk-off win against Ashland, four to three was the final score. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call, and it is a beautiful sunny day here at Hopkinton High School. A little bit windy, but certainly much better weather than we have had so far this season as for the majority of the season. It has been pretty cloudy and chilly, but a nice Wednesday here today at Hopkinton High School. The temperatures nearing the 60s. In fact, right now, the H-Camp thermostat reading 60 degrees with a nine mile an hour southeast wind. So not bad conditions at all for baseball. Let's take a look at the Dover Sherborne season so far. They started off with a 21 to five loss against Norton. They then lost to Ashland eight to three. And then a nine inning game with Halston resulted in a four to three loss. And then Dover Sherborne beat Millis on the 16th, six to three followed by a win against Weston, 6-1, and an 11-7 loss against Westwood this past Monday. And today they are looking to take down the Hopkinton Hillers, who have some momentum as the Hillers are now 2-3 and three on this season, looking to get back to that 500 mark. It was a tough road for the Hillers to start. A lot of road games to start the season, but they are ready for these home games and hoping to take advantage of a home friendly schedule over the next couple of weeks. Let's take a look at the Dover Sherborne batting order. They are going to lead off with Nick Riccardi, the shortstop. Luke Toro, the second baseman, will bat second. Brett Rowene, the center fielder, will bat third. Ryan Slowinski will hit cleanup and DH. Trey Tibbetts is the left fielder, batting fifth. Brian Thompson, the first baseman, batting sixth. Shanta Virikian, the third baseman, batting seventh. Holden Ferrari in right field, batting eighth. And Johnny Schroeder, the catcher, rounding out the Dover Sherborne batting order. For the Hopkinton Hillers, a little bit different of a looking diamond from this past Monday as Matt DeSina is available to play today. And he is going to be the starting shortstop. Greg Haller is the starting pitcher for the Hopkinton Hillers. Haller, the second man in this Hillers rotation behind Evan Park, doing very well on the mound so far this season. A 191 ERA in two appearances, 11 innings pitched has given up six runs, three of them earned. 14 hits, has struck out 10 and walked five. The rest of the Hillers diamond at first base, Cal Holland. Second base, Kyle Halloran. The shortstop, Matt DeSina, moving in from the outfield this season. Jack Vacari over at third. Mike Messier, the catcher. From left to right in the outfield, it is Nate Wilson who is going to be the odd man out of the batting order today. Drew Donahue, the center fielder, and Drew Simi, the right fielder for the Hopkinton Hillers. And just to recap that game against Ashland, quite an unbelievable game. The first Hopkinton Hillers home game of the season against their arch nemesis, the Ashland Clockers. The Hillers got things started off in the first as uh, excuse me, Ashland got things started off in the first as J.J. Krupe was plated to make it one to nothing clockers, but the Hillers responded on the bottom of the second as Drew Donahue and Cal Holland scored a couple runs off of an Evan Park single. At that point, it would be two to one, but Ashland would come back with a couple more runs on the top of the third. J.J. Krupe and Mitch Porter would both score. Ronan Bates had a RBI sacrifice in that inning, and that would make it 3-2 to two Ashland. And then the Hillers tied it up on the fourth with a Cal Holland home run. 
that cleared the left field fence, absolutely tattooed the ball. And then in the bottom half of the seventh, Mike Messier was hit by a pitch, ended up advancing to second on a pass ball, and then an overthrow in the left field allowed Messier to score the game-winning run for the Hopkinton Hillers as they took their first home game 4-3 to in walk-off style against Ashland. And we are set for baseball this afternoon as Dover Sherborne is set to come up to the plate leading things off shortstop Nick Riccardi for Dover Sherborne as Greg Holler making his first appearance on the home turf this season and he is set to go and when you think about how far Greg Holler has come on the mound it is quite impressive as he is set to deliver to Riccardi as Riccardi squares for the bunt pulls it back and that is ruled a strike, an 0-1 count. The wind up and the pitch. And that is a strike, 0-2. And, As the righty awaits, the freshman, Nick Riccardi at the plate. This is on the ground, right side, and that will get through for a hit, and the throw is just late from Halloran. A leadoff single for the freshman, and that will bring up Luke Turo, the second baseman. And there is a lot of young talent on this Dover Sherborne team. Two young teams going at it today. Dover Sherborne with only four seniors compared to Hopkinton's six. As the first pitch to Greg Turo is in there for a strike. Holler pitching from the stretch, lead man on for Dover Sherborne. The wind up and the pitch on the ground, right side, fielded by the second baseman. Throw to second, they get one. Throw to first is not going to be in time, but a great play by the second baseman. As they get the force out, that's Kyle Halloran on the four to six force out. One away for Brett Rowene, the center fielder. As the first pitch is just low, one and zero. Oh. Rowene, a junior, 409 mark on the season. Has driven in three and hit two doubles. The windup and the pitch. Runner threatening to take off, pitch inside, two and zero. Oh. Holler from the stretch, checking at first, runner back safe. And the runner is taken off as the pitch was outside, throw to second, not in time. And a stolen base for Luke Turo. As Rowene steps back in the box. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, grabs the inner part of the plate. Holler awaits the sign. Holler delivers. And that is in there for a strike. That'll fill up the count. Runner leading off of second. Holler delivers, and this is hit up the middle, fielded by the short, and he will throw to first to get the second out. Toro does advance to third, a six to three out for Brett Rowen, second out of the inning. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Ryan Slowinski. Slowinski, a sophomore at a 190 on the season. Holler to the set, delivers. That is a strike. From the stretch. 
And this is hit in the air to left field. That'll drop in for a hit and a run will score. It gets by Nate Wilson and Slowinski rounding first. He is going to round second and stay put. An RBI double for the cleanup man. A one to nothing ball game to start things off. And that'll bring up Trey Tibbetts, the left fielder. Tibet's a junior on the season. First pitch is a ball. Holler to the set. That pitch in there for a strike. Holler delivers. On the ground, right side, fielded by the first baseman. The flip to Holler will be in time for the third out of the inning. Some good communication with Cal Holland and Holler. Some good hustle by Greg Holler as well, but not before. Dover Sherborne plates a run. It's one to nothing, heading to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at the Dover Sherborne. Diamond, Owen Webb will be the pitcher behind the plate, Johnny Schroeder. First base, Brian Thompson, Luke Turo over at second. Nick Riccardi, the shortstop. Shant Aviki and the third baseman. From left to right, Trey Tibbetts, Brett Rowene, and Holden Ferrari over in right field for Dover Sherborne. The Hopkinton Hillers batting order. Leading off and playing second base, Kyle Halloran. Jack Vacari batting second, playing third. Matt Decina. Will bat third and play shortstop. Drew Simi, the cleanup hitter, playing right field. Drew Donahue batting fifth, playing center field. Cal Holland, the first baseman, batting sixth. Alex Reynolds, the DH, batting seventh. Greg Holler, the pitcher, batting eighth. Mike Messier, the catcher, rounding out the order. And Nate Wilson, the left fielder, the odd man out. As the Hopkinton Hillers set to come up to the plate on the bottom of the first, trailing one to nothing. As Dover Sherborne had some early momentum. Luke Turo came around to score off an RBI double by Ryan Slowinski. As Kyle Halloran is set to step to the plate to face Owen Webb. And the wind picking up a little bit here at Hopkinton High School. Owen Webb on the season, a 3.50 ERA and three appearances, has pitched eight innings, given up eight hits, five runs, four of them earned. As he is set to deliver, the first pitch is down low. A one and oh count to Halloran. Kyle Halloran, a junior, at a 3.08 mark heading into this game. That pitch in there for a strike, a one and one count. Four for 13 at the plate, a score to run. Webb to the set, and that is just low. Two and one. Webb gets the sign and deals. That pitch is low and inside, three and one. Webb to the set, and he will deliver ball four. So Halloran with the free pass to start things off. Owen Webb, only a sophomore for Dover Sherborne. As Jack Vicari will head to the plate. And that's a great thing for these two teams. A lot of sophomores and juniors playing big roles this year, and when you think down the road, that just means more experience, the better, as that pitch is in there for a strike. Vicaria Jr. out of 500 heading into this game. Six for 16, has driven in five and scored three runs. Webb delivers, runner takes off, and that is a little foul tip. Runner will head back to first. Oh and two to Vicari.
as Webb working from the stretch awaits the sign and he deals. That pitch down low, runner back to first. The Hiller's not afraid to steal, that is for sure. Eleven for twelve on stolen bases this season are the Hillers. Checking at first, runner slides back. The only time a runner got caught was actually on Monday against Ashland. Drew Donahue got caught. Webb to the set, runner takes off. That ball is hit foul. Runner will head back to first. Count remains one and two. Matt DeSina due up on deck for the Hillers. DeSina has not played yet this season. Started off with an injury. But now back in the lineup, runner takes off from first ball on the ground left side. Fielded at short. Throw to first is not, is going to be close. And the runner from second will take off to third and they get him. The throw was in time to first, so that is two outs. Halloran advanced to second, and then tried to get across, but a nice throw across the diamond, two away for Matt DeSina to make his first appearance at the plate. As the lefty steps in, that pitch down low. The Hillers, they are aggressive on the base paths, and a lot of times it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Webb gets the sign and deals. Swinging strike. Webb to the set. On the ground, fielded at short, throw to first is in time, and that will retire the side. On the bottom of the first, we head to the top of the second. It's a one to nothing game in favor of Dover Sherborne. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service. To the local families and businesses of Hopkinton, visit them at WebsterFirst.com. As stepping to the plate is Brian Thompson, the first baseman. It's a one to nothing lead in favor of Dover Sherborne as Greg Holler set to work another inning for the Hillers. It's Brian Thompson, Shant. Avera Kian and Holden Ferreira do up as this first pitch is hit in the air. Foul territory left side and no one will get to it. Oh and one. As Thompson will step back to the plate. Wind up and the pitch, down low. One and one. Brian Thompson, one of the captains of this Dover Sherborne team in his senior year. That pitch down low. A 143 batting average on the season. Three for 21 at the plate is Brian Thompson. Holler delivers a swinging strike. Two and two. Holler to the set. That's hit foul. Holler set to deliver. The leg lift and the pitch, and this is on the ground. Left side, fielded at third. Throw to first is going to be high and get over the head of Holland. And aboard is Brian Thompson. 
And that one could have went either way. You could rule that a hit. You could rule it an error. I think since the throw is high, you got to call it an error. As Shant, Averakian will come to the plate. The junior Shant is at a 3-12 mark on the season. Has scored three runs. As Holler will work from the stretch. First pitch is high, checking at first, runner just back. Good throw down the line by Messier. Collar to the set, a little tip on the infield grass left side, fielded by the third baseman, throw to first, they get one. So Thompson advances the second. Shant Averakian goes five to three for the out. And that'll bring up Holden Ferrari, the right fielder. Holler to the set, runner leading off of second. Pitch down low. And a bunt attempt pulled back. That's a strike. Looks like they're trying to squeeze the runner a little bit there. To the set. Runner is back to second. Holler working from the stretch. Thompson with a big lead off the second base bag on the ground, up the middle, fielded at short, throw to first in time. A six to three ground out for the second out. That'll bring up Johnny Schroeder, the catcher. The runner Thompson did advance the third. So an opportunity here for Schroeder, the sophomore. 0 for 5 at the plate so far this season. First pitch is in there for a strike, grabs the inner corner. To the set. And that is in there for a strike. Holler relying on the fastballs a good amount in the early innings, working from the stretch. That pitch down low, one and two. Dover Sherborne led by head coach Stephen Ryan. As that pitch fouled away, Fillers of course led by head coach Jay Golden. Holler gets the sign. On the ground, left side, fielded by the third baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. And that will be the third out of the top half of the second. To the bottom of the second we go. Dover Sherborne leading Hopkinton one to nothing. Top, uh, bottom half of the second inning, a one to nothing lead for Dover Sherborne, due up for the Hopkinton Hillers. Drew Simi, who is the cleanup man in the order. Drew Donahue and Cal Holland as the Hillers look to get some offense going and a good part of the order coming up to do so as Simi is set to step in to face Owen Webb on the bottom of the second as he'll throw a couple more warm-ups and a Blue Raiders of Dover Sherborne throw it around the diamond and we are set to go. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on HCAM. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as Owen Webb set to deliver to Drew Simi. The wind up and the pitch is low. Webb awaits the sign and deals. Inside. 
two and oh. Webb awaits the sign and delivers. That ball hit foul. Heads up on the track as they do have the track team uh, out there in a meet. That ball is fouled right in the middle of the football field. Fortunately, did not hit anybody. Webb delivers. And this is hit in the air towards center field. Battling the sun and making the catch is Brett Rowene. Nice job by Rowene tracking that one down. And there is one away for Drew Donahue. As the multi-sport athlete, Drew Donahue steps in. Of course, had a very good season running the football for the Hillers as this is hit in foul territory right side and no one will get to it. A sliding attempt there by Holden Ferrari but unable to track it down and it's 0 and 1. The righty steps back in. Webb awaits the sign and delivers. Just inside. One and one on Donahue. To the set. Hit in the air towards the track and foul. Drew Donahue in his senior year. It's time called. Looks like ball was out on the field. So far this season, Donahue one for 14 at the plate, struggling a little bit with the bat. That pitch down low, two and two. To the set. That's fouled away. Donahue last year hit a 250 on the season. Owen Webb to the set. Delivers low. A three and two count on Donahue. Webb to the set, swinging strike. And that'll be the second out of the inning as Schroeder throws down to first successfully. That'll bring up Calvin Holland. Cal Holland with some good power at the plate, hit a home run in the fourth inning in the Ashland game, which ended up tying it at three that point. The Hillers went on to win that game in walk-off fashion. There's a swinging strike, 0 oh and 1. As Webb awaits the sign. The wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Tried to check it but could not hold back. Oh, and two on Holland. Last year, Calvin Holland batted a 312 and hit two home runs. This year already has one as that pitch just inside. One and two. Webb to the set and delivers, swinging strike. And that will do it for the bottom of the second. Some good pitching so far by Owen Webb as he strikes out a pair and goes 
One, two, three. We will head to the top of the third. It's one to nothing, Dover Sherborne. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Cornerstone at Milford, a new senior community featuring apartment living with innovative programs, services, and transportation to help seniors stay independent. Conveniently located on Route 109 near 495, more at cornerstoneatmilford.com. We are set for the top half of the third inning. Top of the order due up for Dover Sherborne, Nick Riccardi, Luke Turo, and Brett Rowen. They had some success in the first inning, looking to have some more, try to increase that lead as Greg Holler is out there for another inning of work. And he is set to deliver to the freshman, Nick Riccardi, the windup and the pitch. Just high, 1-0. and oh. Holler to the set, a fastball and a little bloop shot on the infield grass. He'll pick it up, overthrow first. And Riccardi will be safe at first, and that's where he will stay. And that is certainly an awkward ball to field as it took a couple of rough bounces on the infield grass, making it difficult to pick up. A nice attempt by Holler, but just could not get it there in time, and that will bring up Luke Turo. Hey, hey, Holler working from the stretch. Riccardi certainly a threat to steal a lot of speed. Bunt attempt down the first baseline and foul. Oh, and one. Holler awaits the side. Checking at first, nearly picked off, but back safely is Riccardi. Riccardi was taking a big lead off the bag. And he continues to lead as Holler set to deliver. Upstairs. One and one count on the sophomore, Luke Turo. As that pitch is just inside. Holler set to deal. On the ground, right side, a diving play by the second baseman. Throw to first, not in time. And advancing over to third is Riccardi. A nice job by Vicari keeping the throw in front of him from Cal Holland to avoid a run scoring. It was a great attempt by Halloran, but just unable to flip it up in time. But a good job stopping it from getting into the outfield. Riccardi would have likely scored in the event, he did not dive there as Rowene will come to the plate. Still no outs for Dover Sherborne and runners at the corners. That pitch is a strike. 0 oh and 1. Holler from the stretch. Delivers. That is a strike. Oh, and two on Rowing. On the ground, left side foul. Brett Rowing, a junior, leading the way offensively for Dover Sherborne with a 409, nine for 22 at the plate. Has driven in three, scored six.
Haller awaits the sign. And delivers, runner takes off from first. That pitch is just low, one and two. A stolen base for Turo. Haller delivers, swinging strike. And there is out number one. Ryan Slowinski now coming to the plate, had an RBI double his last time up, scored the only run of the game so far. It was his sixth RBI of the season, swinging strike. It was also his first double of the season. Holler from the stretch, delivers. Just outside, one and one. Holler to the set, on the ground, foul. One and two. Holler working from the stretch, two men in scoring position, one out. On the ground, and that is going to get through into left field, went off the shortstop, and two runs are going to score. And the throw in will get by Messier. Mitski is going to advance all the way to third. So that is a two RBI single. He advanced to second on the throw in, advanced to third, on the misfire to home plate. And Dover Sherborne is in business and up three to nothing with a man on third and one out. Trey Tibbetts coming up. Holler delivers. There's strike one, oh and one. Holler to the set. That's down low. The wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. And Decina went to dive for that hit ball by Slowinski. And it went off his chest into the outfield. And this one is right towards Decina. He'll throw home. And that throw will be in time. A nice play by Decina. Avoiding the run. And that just shows you good instincts. Went right home with it. Avoided another run scoring. Now Brian Thompson at the plate. That pitch down low. One and oh. So runner on first with two outs. That pitch down low, two and oh. From the stretch. Checking at first, almost got him, but runner just back safely. Holler awaits the sign. Deals, and this is left side down the line, and it is foul. Two and one. Thompson reached on an error in the second. Holler from the stretch. That's fouled away behind the backstop, two and two. Holler to the set. That's fouled away as Thompson stays alive.
Fouled towards the Hopkinton dugout. Two and two remains the count. Checking at first, runner back safe. Holler set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, Decina will field it. Throw to first, not a problem, and that is the third out of the inning. But not before two more. Dover Sherborne runs score. And it is three to nothing as we head to the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third inning. Stepping in, Alex Reynolds, the DH. Greg Haller and Mike Messier, the other two, do up this inning for Hopkinton to face Owen Webb. Hiller's down three nothing, looking to Get some offense going. There's a swinging strike. Oh, and one. To the set as the sophomore Alex Reynolds awaits the pitch at a 182 on the season. That pitch turns him away. One and one. Webb deals on the ground to the right of the mound over to the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem, one away. That will bring up Greg Haller to the plate. Haller at a 111 on the season. One for nine at the plate, has driven in three, however. And we'll take a ball for the first pitch. Sophomore pitcher is set to deliver. Down low. Two and O count as Haller tries to help his own cause here. That pitch in there for a strike. Webb to the set. Down low. Three and one. That is a strike. That'll fill up the count. Holler thought he was going to get the free pass. Webb with the leg lift and the pitch down low, and now he gets the free pass. Mike Messier will come up to the plate. Messier, three for 15 at the plate. Excuse me, 0 for 9 at the plate. He's been to the plate 15 times total. As there is a strike. Can certainly draw the walk, however. Checking at first, runner back safely. Messier has walked three times and been hit three times. Has a 400 on base percentage even without a hit. Webb set to deliver. Almost got hit there, is that pitch up high? One and one. Messier well known for his hockey skills. His web set to deliver, checking at first, runner back safe. It was a key part of the Hopkinton Hillers hockey squad, which was just one win away from the playoffs this season. 
Line up and the pitch. On the ground, left side, fielded by the third baseman. Throw to second for one, throw to first on and tie. That was six to four force out. And that's two outs. The umpire calls time to explain something to Coach Stephen Ryan. Not quite sure what. And they're explaining sliding rules. The umpire explaining the sliding rules to coach Stephen Ryan. And they strongly discourage sliding head first. As that is certainly a factor that makes players very injury prone as Kyle Halloran steps in. Line up and the pitch is down low. Runner takes off from first and an easy stolen base by Messier. Messier's second stolen base of the season. He's leading off of second now. That pitch down low. Three and one on Halloran who walked back in the first. Webb delivers, and this is hit foul down the right side. A full count now on Halloran. He's at a 308 at the plate heading into this game. Fouled away left side. Count remains full. Webb from the stretch, delivers. And this is right back towards Webb, went off his glove, fielded by the shortstop, throw to first and they get him. A nice recovery by the shortstop, Nick Riccardi, to get Halloran and that will end the third inning. It is a three to nothing lead for Dover Sherborne. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton, attorneys at law serving central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence. Fletcher Tilton, visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. Top half of the fourth inning, Greg Holler set to deliver to Shant Avedian, and he will hit this into right field. That'll drop in for a hit, rounding first, heading to second, the throw in is going to be cut off, and it is a stand-up double for Adavikian. And that'll bring up Ferrari Holden to the play, the right fielder. Nice way to lead off the inning for Dover Sherborne is Vedekian with the double, as that is bunted foul, 0-1. Oh Holler from the stretch. The bunt is going to be a strike. Runner stays put at second. Holler from the stretch. Runner at second leading off the bag. And he'll turn to get that runner back towards the bag. There has not been any warm-up action yet for Hopkinton. They're hoping Holler can get a little more consistent as that pitch up high. If 
this game starts to get out of hand this inning, you might see some warm-up action. A 3-0 lead for Dover Sherborne as this pitch is hit foul towards the track. And that nearly hit a couple of track athletes. One and two count. Holler set to deal. On the ground, third base side in fair territory. Smart play by Vakari. Picks it up and tags Avedikian, who was heading to third. So Ferrari reaches on the fielder's choice. And that wasn't a forced play. Avedikian could have stayed at second. As Schroeder comes up with one out, he'll hit this into right center. That drops in for a hit. So two aboard. That is going to be a single. As Schroeder is aboard. With his first hit of the day. Ferrari advances to second, and that'll bring up Nick Riccardi. Riccardi is two for two on the day. Two singles and scored a run in the third. Holler set to deliver, runners back. Holler from the stretch, both runners leading. The lineup and the pitch, down low. A one and oh count. And Nick Riccardi, only a freshman for Dover Sherborne. Certainly will be a key player in this Raiders lineup for years to come as that pitch down low. Two and O. Oh. Holler to the set. Runner takes off from second. Bunt pulled back. Throw to third. And they are going to call him safe. Then a throw to first. And it looks like they got the runner at first. So Ferrari Holden advances to third. And then Schroeder. Picked off of first, and that is two outs. Wind up and the pitch, and that is off the batter. That is going to be a hit by pitch. So Riccardi gets the free pass. As the wind starting to pick up. And a couple questionable base running decisions, which may have prevented a couple runs for Dover Sherborne. As Luke Toro steps in. Holler to the set. On the ground, up the middle. Holler will have it go off his glove. Throw to first, and he got him. Nice play by Holler. Went off his glove. He bobbled it for a little bit, but was still able to get it to Cal Holland for the third out. And after all that, no. The bottom of the fourth, Dover Sherborne leading Hopkinton 3 to nothing. Bottom of the fourth inning, a three to nothing Dover Sherborne lead. Due up for Hopkinton, Jack Vacari, Matt Decina, Drew Simi. For those of you just joining us, you are watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball on H Camp. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as Owen Webb is set to deliver to Vacari, who grounded out his last time up in the first inning. The first pitch down low, one and zero. Oh. Owen Webb has had a nice appearance on the mound so far today for Dover Sherborne. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit into left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Rounding first, heading to second. It's picked up in left field. The throw in is going to be cut off, and that is going to be a double for Jack Vacari. 
Matt Decina will come up to the plate now. So double to start things off and with Decina coming up, this could be a good time for the Hillers offense to try to get some runs across. Drew Simi, the cleanup man, due up on deck. Runner leading off of second, Webb to the set, delivers. And this is right back to the pitcher, throw to first, and they will get to Cena. Nice job by Webb, keeping his cool, looking towards second to make sure Vicari wasn't going, and then the easy out at first. One away, Drew Simi will come up. He flew out his last time up in the second inning. Webb to the set. Runner taking off from second. The throw to third is not going to be in time. A stolen base for Jack Vacari. It's Vacari's fifth stolen base of the season. He's five for five. Is that pitch down low? Webb to the set. Delivers. Hit in the air to center field, a deep center field, and ranging back was Rowene. He makes the catch, but the run will score. A sacrifice fly for Simi. Drives in Jack Vacari, and it is a 3-1 to one Dover Sherborne lead. RBI sacrifice fly out to center field. That's just what the doctor ordered for Hopkinton to break the scoreless streak. As Drew Donahue steps in. That pitch fouled away. No oh and one. Webb set to deliver. And this is hit in the air to right field, shallow right field, and that will get down in front of Holden Ferrari for a single. So a two out single for Donahue that'll bring up Cal Holland. And you can hear the wind picking up. Donahue leading off a of first, throw over, he is back safely. So far this season, the wind has been our friend all season long, as it's been windy just about every game we've done so far. Checking at first, runner back safe. Webb is set to deliver. As Holland will take time. Wind up and the pitch runner taking off from first. And Schroeder was trying to throw over but kind of bobbled it and uh, stolen base for Donahue. Donahue taking a big lead off that second base bag as Webb delivers a strike. Holland struck out his last time up in the second inning. Shall Holland reach Alex Reynolds due up on deck. Line up and the pitch. And this is crushed in the left center. That'll drop in for a hit. Donahue being waved around. He will score easily. And an RBI single for Cal Holland makes it a three to two ball game. It's Dover.
Over Sherborne only up by one run now as Alex Reynolds will step in. That's Kel Hollins. First RBI of the season. Checking at first, slides back safe. The DH awaits the pitch. Webb from the stretch. And runner taking off from first. Holland will reach second. The ball gets into center field, and he is going to stay put at second as Rowene tracks it down out there. That is the third stolen base of the inning for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch. Just high. Reynolds awaits the pitch. Holland leading off of second. Pretty sizable lead. The wind up and the pitch. That is fouled away. One and one. Webb to the set, delivers up high. A two and one count, already two runs have scored in this inning for the Hillers. So they are within one now. Two outs in the inning with a runner on second. The wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. And it's two and two on Reynolds. And now the umpires are going to talk about the count. I have it two and two. The infield ump says two and two. Since I have it two and two, I'll, in, I'll agree with the infield ump. But it is going to be an out. As that was indeed the third strike. So Reynolds goes down. But not before two Hopkinton Hillers runs cross. And it is a 3-2 to two game in favor of Dover Sherborne. Brett Rowene, Ryan Slowinski, and Trey Tibbetts do up for Dover Sherborne. As Hopkinton... Got some offense going in the bottom of the fourth, playing two runs, making it a one-run game. Dover Sherborne leading three to two. As the Blue Raiders going to try to change that as Holler out there for another inning. This is a little boop shot in the left field, and that'll land in front of Nate Wilson. It's going to be a leadoff single for Rowene. It'll bring up Ryan Slowinski. As that pitch is in there for a strike. Runner leading off of first, Holler to the set, checking at first, almost got him, but back safely. Holler set to deal. And this is hit in the air towards left center. That'll drop down for a base hit. Another single. Rowen pushed to second. Slowinski at first. And two aboard for Dover Sherborne with no outs. Trey Tibetz, the 
fifth man in the order. Coming up now. Caller to the set. A bunt is fouled. Oh, and one. Holler is set to deal. Both runners are taking sizable leads. Holler turns and they both go back. Looks like Rowene might have tried to take off there. Wind up and the pitch, the bunt pulled back. Runners will hold off the runner at second actually, takes off for third, the throw to second was no good, then he throws over to third and gets one and then the runner from first slides into second and they almost got him. And they do rule that Slowinski was safe, but Rowen was caught stealing. One out. That is another iffy base running decision. Holler deals. That's a strike. One and two, and now there's some more talk over the count from the umpires. And Tibbetts is out, had the foul ball, that's two away. Thompson steps in. Caller delivers, down low. The wind up and the pitch, and that is foul tip. One and one. Holler working from the stretch, runner on second, two outs. And there is a strike, one and two. The runner from second try to take off, but he's back to the bag as Messier with a good throw down to Halloran. Holler to the set, and that is hit foul. Count is one and two. The wind up and the pitch. On the ground, up the middle, fielded at short, throw to first, and they got him. Great throw across the diamond for the third out, and we will head to the bottom half of the fifth. It is a three to two game in favor of Dover Sherborne. Bottom half of the fifth inning, due up for Hopkinton, Greg Haller, Mike Messier, and Kyle Halloran. It is a 3-2 Dover Sherborne lead. Owen Webb out there for another inning of work. And he has been pretty good so far. Did give up the two runs last inning, but besides that, has pitched a pretty good ball game. As the sophomore set to deliver, and Will for a strike. Oh, and one on Holler. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Webb awaits the sign and deals. That is inside. 
Two and one. Holler walked his last time up in the third. And there is a strike. Two and two. Webb set to deal. And this is hit, a little blooper in the right field. That'll drop in for a hit, past the dive of Brian Thompson. And Holler is aboard to start things off. That'll bring up Mike Messier, the catcher. So the tying run on first. And uh, squaring the bunt, pulling it back. Runner takes off from first, slides into second, and the throw gets by into center field, but Holler will stay put with the stolen bag. That is the fifth Hiller's stolen base of the day. A 1-0 count. Webb set to deal. There's a ball there, one and one. Messier awaits the pitch. Webb looks at second and deals. Hit in the air and this is in foul territory. Tracking it down and making the catch is first baseman Brian Thompson. One out in the inning, and that will bring up Kyle Halloran, the second baseman. Halloran 0 for 1, walked in the first. Runner leading off of second. That pitch high. Webb set to deal. This is hit in the air, high in the air, above the second baseman who is there to make the catch on the infield grass. And there is two away. As Toro got under it. That'll bring up Jack Vacari. Webb set to deal. Hit in the air, foul right side. An 0 and 1 count on Vacari, who hit a double in the fourth, stole a base, and scored a run. And this is hit in the air to right field. That is going to be caught by Holden Ferrari. For the third out, Ferrari in the right place at the right time. And we will head to the top of the sixth. It is a three to two lead for Dover Sherborne. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Angels Garden Center located at 65 School Street, growing in Hopkinton since 1957. Bedding, container plants, vegetables, culinary herbs, bark mulch, firewood, and more. Visit them online at angelsgardencenter.com. As we are set for the sixth inning, Dover Sherborne coming to the play, two up. Shant Averikian, Holden Ferrari, and Johnny Schroeder. And the first pitch in there for a strike. Holler set to deal. And a little bloop shot that is going to be fielded by Decina. Throw to first, not a problem. Decina flashing the leather. Has had some great plays at shortstop today in his first game back. As Ferrari Holden comes to the plate. Holden 0 for 2 so far. 
did reach on a fielder's choice and steal a base in the fourth. First pitch a strike, 0 and 1. This is hit in the air towards center field. That'll drop in front of Donahue for a single. Schroeder will now come up to the plate. Johnny Schroeder, one for two, had a single in the fourth. Holler from the stretch, delivers inside. A one and oh count. Holler to the set, deals low. Nice job by Messier, keeping it in front, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. A two and one count on Johnny Schroeder. Is on the ground up the middle and the little flip to second for one. Throw to first double play. And that is a 6-4-3 double play to retire the side on the top of the sixth, and we will head to the bottom of the sixth with the score, dover Sherborne two, uh, three, Hopkinton two. New catcher for dover Sherborne, Jamie right behind the plate. And he takes over as we enter the bottom half of the sixth inning. The Hillers still one run down, a three to two game. Do up, Matt Decina, Drew Simi, and Drew Donahue. Pretty good part of the order to have up right now. Owen Webb still out there for another inning of work. As there's a ball. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. Webb to the set. That is outside. Lefty Decina will step back in. A three and O count. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. So Decina trying to reach base for his first time today. One ball away from doing so. On the ground, first base side, and it is going to be a ground out to the first baseman, Brian Thompson, for the first out of the inning. Drew Simi will now come up. Simi had a sacrifice RBI fly out in the fourth. He scored Jack Vacari for the first Hiller's run. A three to two lead for Dover Sherborne as Webb delivers. And there is a strike. Webb to the set, down low. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. That's down low. Drew Donahue due up on deck for the Hillers. Webb delivers on the ground up the middle. Fielded at short, throw to first, and they get him. A six to three ground out for the second out, and now Drew Donahue will come to the play. Webb with the wind up and the pitch. Up high. Catch 
Calvin Holland do up on deck. Shall Donahue reach? Inside. Webb set to deliver. On the ground, first base side, in fair play. Picked up by Thompson. And he will tag the bag for the final out of the bottom of the six. The one, two, three inning for Owen Webb and the Dover Sherborne defense. And we head to the top half of the seventh. Dover Sherborne leading Hopkinton three to two. Top half of the seventh inning, top of the order due up for Dover Sherborne. Nick Riccardi, Luke Turo, and Brett Rowen to face Greg Holler. And this is a little bloop shot towards the CNAT short throw to first, and he got him. Nice job by DeSena, close play too. One pitch, one out, Luke Turo comes up to the plate. And the Hillers will have another opportunity for a walk-off here this afternoon. Trailing three to two here in the seventh. For those of you just joining us, it's been a great game so far. Bob Hamilton on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. You're watching Hopkinton Hillers baseball. Dover Sherborne leading three to two as that pitch is in there for a strike. Turo, one for three today, has reached base twice though. That pitch is a ball, gets by Messier. Reached in the first on a fielder's choice, stole a bag, and he's also scored two runs in this game. Aller awaits the sign and deals. There's a strike. One and two. Line up and the pitch, up high. Holler to the set. On the ground, third base side. Picked up at third. Throw to first, and they got him. Nice job by Vakari throwing across the diamond. A 5-3 to three ground out. Two away, Brett Rowen coming to the plate. Pretty fast-moving game so far. About an hour and 40 minutes old. Holler set to deliver. That is just high. Of course, if you're watching on HCAM, you don't really have to wait between the innings as Holler delivers. And there's a strike. And also, there are DVDs of all sporting events and school events HCAM films. Just contact us as that pitch followed away, one and two. Find us online at hcam.tv. Or give us a call, 508-435-7887. As Holler set to deal to Rowen. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and two. The leg lift and the pitch on the ground, up the middle, and it's off of Decina into the outfield. Took an awkward bounce. And that is, I can't imagine you would score that in error. That took a really weird bounce in front of Decina and just went off of his arm. Second time Decina has been hit today off of an awkward bounce as Ryan Slowinski will comes up to the plate. Holler working from the stretch, two outs, man on first. Runner taking off, throw down a second, and he is going to be safe. So Rowene getting the steal. A runner in scoring position with two outs for Slowinski. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air. Right side, foul territory. And actually that is going to be in fair territory. Had an obstructed view. A run does score 
And it's a four to two game. So an RBI single for Slowinski. The view is a little bit obstructed. We don't have the best view of right field from where we are. And Coach Golden going to talk to Holler and see if he wants to try to pitch through this game. And Holler's had a relatively nice start so far today. And we have a pinch runner for Dover Sherborne as well as they get some more speed on the base pass. Trey Tibet's at bat. And there is a ball, one and zero. Oh. Pinch runner is a freshman, Jake Skura. Time called at the plate. Caller set to deliver from the stretch. Wind up and the pitch down low. Check in at first, runner back safe. That's a shame you get those two quick outs to start the seventh. And a couple hits gives Dover Sherborne another run. That pitch up high, runner taking off, throw to second. It'll get by the glove of Halloran. And Decina was there to back him up to prevent it from going in the outfield. Nice job by Decina. Second stolen base of the inning for Dover Sherborne. The wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. Three and one. There's a ball. Tibetz draws the free pass. That will bring up Brian Thompson, who's 0 for 3. Two men on, two outs. A four to two game now in favor of Dover Sherborne. And this is hit in the air towards left center and that is going to get down for a hit. One run being waved around and will score. The other runner held up at third. An RBI single for Thompson. He advances the second on the throw in. And now it's a five to two ball game. Avera Kien takes a strike, swinging. Oh and one. No warm up action for Hopkinton. They're just going to hope Holler can get this last out. Down low. Holler to the set. That's fouled away. Doesn't appear Holler's lost anything off of his fastball. He's found the plate pretty well. Has left it over the middle a little bit too much, but still going strong as that one's fouled away. Two and two. Shant of Etikian is 0 for 3 so far. Check in at second runner, caught in the pickle, and chasing him down, Halloran, and now he flips it over to Vakari, and they do tag him, and the run that came around will not count since they got Thompson. And that will end the inning, and we will head to the bottom of the seventh. Dover Sherborne gets some insurance as they push two more across. It is a 5-3 to three Blue Raiders lead on HCAM. Bottom of the seventh, the Hillers with some work to do, trailing 5-2. to two. Cal Hall and Alex Reynolds, Greg Haller do up. We'll see if they stick to those three down to their last three outs as Owen Webb going for the complete game. Holland had an RBI single in the fourth. 
Struck out earlier in the second. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. And 0 and 1 count. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to center field. That'll drop in for a hit. Got by Rowen. And Holland is aboard with a single. Tying run on deck as Alex Reynolds comes up to the plate. And we are going to have a pinch hitter. Oh, no, we're not. Reynolds is going to stay in the game and come up. And as of right now, it looks like Haller is going to bat on schedule as well as that pitch. Down in the dirt, went off the pat, the chest pad of Schroeder. And Holland advances the second on the wild pitch. So a runner in scoring position for the Hillers. Webb set to deal. And this is hit into right field, uh, jumping up, making the catch, Luke Turo. And then they try to get the runner at second as Turo throws it over to Riccardi, nearly got him. But a great dive back to the bag by Cal Holland. But one away after a beauty of a catch by Turo. Jumping up and pulling it down. As Holler at the plate. And he follows that off the catcher, 0 and 1. That could have been a game saving catch there by Turo. That got in there. I would have put two aboard with no outs. And who knows what would have happened. The wind up and the pitch is in there for a strike, 0 and 2. Webb, set to throw, and that is foul tipped. Catcher, Jamie Wright going to come out and have some words with Webb. And 0 and 2 count on Holler. Holler walked in the third. Hit a single in the fifth and stole a bag. Webb to the set. And this is on the ground, takes a couple hops on the infield grass, throw over to first, and there's two away. A four to three ground out. Does push Cal Holland over to third. But the Hiller is down to their final out. Mike Messier will come up to the plate. If Messier reaches, Kyle Halloran due up on deck. Webb going for the complete game. Delivers a ball. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air to left field. That'll drop in for a hit. A run scores, and it's five to three. An RBI single for Messier. Looks like the wind played with that one a little bit. So the Hillers not totally out of it yet, as Kyle Halloran coming up to the plate. The tying run at the plate. Webb to the set, checking at first, runner back safe. Webb from the stretch, delivers, fouled away. Oh and one. Checking at first, runner back safe. Webb set to deal. 
Hit in the air, foul out of play. 0 oh and 2. Halloran down to his final strike, and so are the Hillers. Webb set to deliver, taking a look at the leading Messier at first. The windup and the pitch, that's fouled away. Oh, and two on Halloran. Webb deals, hit in the air, foul behind home plate. Webb from the stretch. And that is tipped foul as Halloran continues to battle. Jack Bakari due up on deck. Shall Halloran reach? Line up and the pitch. On the ground, a couple hops on the infield grass. Fielded by the third baseman. Throw to first. And they got him. And that will do it. A 5-3 to three ground out. Gets Halloran, and he almost beat that out, but could not quite get there in time. And the Hopkinton Hillers go down to Dover Sherborne by a five to three final. We'll take a small time out, come back and wrap this game up. The Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders defeat the Hopkinton Hillers by a five to three final. Quite a pitcher's duel between Owen Webb and Greg Haller today, Owen Webb Went the complete game as he threw for seven innings, giving up six hits, three runs, two walks, and had three strikeouts. Greg Holler went all seven innings, gave up 12 hits, five runs, four of them earned. Had one walk and two strikeouts as Dover Sherborne takes down the Hopkinton Hillers by a final of five to three. Dover Sherborne scored five runs on 12 hits and committed no errors. The Hopkinton Hillers scored three runs on six hits and committed two errors. And uh, one of the errors paid off to be pretty big as it led to a run. But it was a good pitcher's duel here today. But the Hillers just got out battled offensively. It was a great overall start for Owen Webb, who was not an overpowering pitcher, but was consistent in taking care of these Hillers hitters. And, they just could not get the bats going against what Owen Webb had to offer. So a tough loss for the Hillers as they fall to two and four. Dover Sherborne improving to three and four, but still plenty of season left to go and the Hillers will pick themselves up and get ready for Friday's game and try to rack up another win, but it was a good ball game here today, a great pitcher's duel and some good action as well. Some great defensive work by both teams, preventing a lot of hits and a lot of runs. It was a windy day, not the best conditions, but both teams played a good ball game today, and Dover Sherborne takes it by a final of 5-3. to three. That is going to wrap it up for HCAM's Hopkinton Hillers baseball coverage. For Bob Hamilton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.